Okay, um, hi everyone. What we're going to do here is just run through Wirecast for YouTube. I'm going to show you what I've done now. The if you look at the let's put, get a spotlight on here. Um, if you look at the down the bottom here, you can actually see, although you can't um, see. Um, see, I'm waving in the bottom third window, so I am here. Yeah, what well, I don't know to do that. Just just click on it and click go, and that is me right now live to you which is really weird because I'm sitting in Wirecast and you can actually see the microphone going on the right hand side so let me just have a, an overview um, while I'm talking of Wirecast for YouTube which I've only seen what about 24 hours ago so all I'm going to do through this um, idea is just talk people through um, how you can make something that I just did with the last test. So for an example, um, the first thing I'm going to do is on media, it's not on media, I lied already, how nice. Yeah, see the switching. You've got go switching, cut smooth and uh, bowstring or whatever you want to do, there's a bunch of things. But this, this big deal is the auto live. So let's say that you've gone to YouTube, you've opened Wirecast and you've done the whole thing. Then once you hit broadcast, that will send to YouTube and I'm going to cover the whole live streaming thing on a, on a separate video. This one is, is how you actually put the show together. So I'll give you an example. If I was on a blank shot, and let's say the show opened, and you wanted to go straight over to a still slide, all I have to do is, bottom left, is click the slide, and it moves. If I click my video, it moves. If I click um, a loaded piece of media, then you'll see that the, the movie is just playing. And if you look over here, it's got a countdown to like three seconds, two seconds, one second in the middle. If it gets to the end, it will just repeat and repeat forever, pretty much. Okay, so and if I wanted to go to my mic microphone only, which I i don't want to at this stage, but I'll show you how to do that, um, then I can keep clicking through. Now watch this, if I go to the switch and turn off Auto Live, then it will get a message to say, you know, really? And it is, yes, I do. Now this time, you can say advance, so already, say the viewers are looking at this, let's just go back to the other video, so I'm clicking on the yellow one, you notice nothing's happened, so I yes, go, send that to the live stream, and they are watching a video. Now at the moment, you've got 10 seconds to watch this video, I can decide on my clips and video, or whatever it is on the bottom, what I want to do next. So if I want to come back to me next, and let's say I was talking about something, you know, you'll, you'll notice there that, that those flowers were, I don't know, this shape or whatever it is. Now, as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at, can you see the pop-up where it says microphone and you've got all these video clips? Now, if I went to a slide like this one, and then I wanted to have, and it's got my microphone still, that's fine, I click go, it transitions through to the slide, and then I can start talking over this clip and say, I call this the Indian head card, and if you're watching the stream at, say, um, HD, you'll see that this Indian head at the top here um, is good quality or blurry quality, and that's what a test card is. So if I go over to the next one and then click Go, then I'm keeping in control. And this is, this is a really big deal, because when you are moving, let's say, for uh, there's a video there. Now, notice I've clicked the video, and the test card is, let's say, on. So let's just go back to the other videos in the show, and I say, okay, I now want to go to the clip. Now, the clip could be a documentary clip, or it could be a cartoon, or it could, could be anything, a news clip, and that's counting down. Let's imagine that um, is moving on. It's more than 10 seconds. So I'll go over and prepare the next slide, which is this one here, but I wanted to do it slightly differently. So I go to look at... I want to do a side-by-side, -side, and you'll notice that it views with a B slide because I haven't chosen anything. Now, had I have done it with switching to auto, then that would be public live and people would be seeing it and going, huh, why have they got a slide there that's got B on it? So what you're going to do down is click this button over here, and you say, I want B to be, let's say, a different video. Okay, and that's what it is. So you can get up to the level, and then you can go back to yourself, let's say, and you say, Thanks for watching a couple of videos on um, 20 seconds of thistles. And now, and notice I've just clicked over, now we're going to look at a side-by-side -side video of a feather and whatever the other one was. So then you go over, and then there's two videos there. Now, I could, and if I look and notice that at the moment, I'm talking to you through this, this screen share tutorial, but I don't have my microphone on the clip. So the video, the audio that they're actually getting is from... The, the camcorder clip, if you like. Okay, so you can you can mix those. And if I wanted to put that microphone on now, let me just see if it's done it. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm talking as well. So if that's going on, I say, wow, look at that. There's a two video clips on. There's a left one and the right one for whatever reason. So then if I want to do something slightly different, so let's say that clip is still working. Uh, I pick a different one. Let's try and pick this one over here. And this time you notice that I want to do another, say, three panes this time. You'll notice that my three panes has got B and C because I haven't allocated. Now, the good example with this, and this is really good, is that you can go along and say, I want B to actually be my Logitech, which is me, and I want C to be, say, let's find something from C. Let's just say, for an example, I wanted it to be a full screen, whatever that is, don't know what it is. Okay, then I say, okay, isn't that fantastic? Switch. And then now what people are seeing in the live stream is something above me, which is a piece of, you know, random video clip. And I've got a test card over there, which is quite interesting because if I was talking away or narrating this and it's going on and if I remembers what my A, a B's and C's were, and I think, I think it was C, wasn't it? So let's change C and change it to a different clip. Click go. And you'll notice that that is now changed to a different clip. So what we are is, is we're producing... Um, remember, this is the free version of Wirecast that we're working with at the moment. And so then going down to a different, just to show you these, oh, so I can't do that. If I choose a different clip, it's, uh, it looks like something's stopped on the software there. I've uh, opened up a different menu. And, I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish it there and say that we could go on this forever. But at the end of the day, there's quite a few different features here. The bottom left one, is adding a video and you can see that I've got my Logitech HD webcam C510 I've got a bunch of other things that can come in the middle one here is that that red dot shouldn't be there by the way that's that's um, this video software that, that stopped it and um, we can bring in a picture or a piece of music whatever and this one over here is all about the desktop presenter which you'll know is screen sharing and I've not started that in, in this meeting or this tutorial whatsoever on the right hand side I think I've covered um, how we can you have to click say a shot and then look at what you are doing in that shot in other words what piece of media are you going to bring in uh, to show microphones here is the microphone that I'm talking to on which is the h360 headset and I can add some different audio and bits of bobs. So in other words, you could do a live show, but all you're really doing is showing back-to-back -back clips and then you're narrating it, you know, a bit like a new show. And then the one on the right-hand side, which again, I'll click over here, and you can see that anything on Wirecast that I've got full screen, which I've got side by side, these things, picture in picture, which is different. The three pane is the one that I'm moving. And you can see that there's a bunch of other ones here, which you do have to pay real dollars to get the pro versions but at the end of the day i'm saying to tell us to tell us a good story to get this thing working uh, to be creative do you really need to do anything more than what we're doing right now um, if i looked at uh, cuts so you've got three presets which is at the moment it's the defaults are cut smooth and bowstring so i can I, i'm not going to mess around with these whatever a cube is so if i said cube like now where's a cube anyway and if i went to that and i said go yeah, okay, it's done a, done a cube. Well, then if I went to a cube side away, swing, what's a swing door? Don't know, let's have a look. Click go, and it swings through. Now, those could be interesting for the eyes. Maybe they are, maybe they are not. Let's do another one. And so all you've done is you've got th the, the, really the, the, the same thing. So if I wanted to go back again, and I say this time I want to... Click, I'll click this time. It's interesting. I won't drop down. That one drops down. Uh, swing door, long slide, slide, what's a long slide? No idea. Let's go and pick that clip and we'll go. And that's a slide in. So let me just reset those because I can't remember what they were now. Uh, so that was a cut, wasn't it? This was a smooth. And that was a bowstring. What is a bowstring? Good question. So you click it to say that's what you want. Then if I went through to say this clip here, when you click, and it sort of goes like that. Hmm. And then the one on the right-hand side, just to finish with, is here we can turn the microphone. This is the, let me just set that hovers for you. 
master mute controls. And this one, if you weren't the host and you weren't speaking, then it'd be very, very useful to turn on the headphones, which is um, whatever talent is talking or programs that are going out with audio, then you can listen in to, to make sure you've got the audio selected. One of the things I did in my very first one is I selected myself like this, which is lovely. But what I didn't do is I didn't think to turn on the microphone, which is quite interesting because if this video clip was going on now, and I want to make sure that I've got it, which is here, isn't it? And then I turned over and I said, I want to speak over that. That's great. But if you were, say, organizing something else, and you didn't want to speak of it because you didn't need to, because let's be fair, I can bring in a clip which could be, say, me talking already on a pre-prepared video, say with a piece of news or something. And these is the, I'm going to do practical examples with this, but really this is this is an overall. Um, I know there's a lot of people in my stream who who are just brand new to this wirecast, so I'm just so am I. So we can learn together, can't we? So the first menu you'll see is a bunch of nothing really going on there. Uh, the second one is a bunch of nothing. When I say a bunch of nothing, what I mean is they are, like all that lot does the same buttons. Remember, Auto Live was the one that I told you about before. There's a shortcut, which the moment you click it, you'll get automatic transitions, which is nice if you're just going through a set like 1 to 10 or something. But if you're moving around and, and changing things, then that's quite interesting. Anything that you see with Pro means that you have to pay, you know, your big dollars to get the Pro level. Uh, canvas size is really important because when you open um, Wirecast for YouTube, then it will default, I think it's VGA 4x3. And you'll notice I've changed the canvas size for 1080 at the moment. Actually, I don't need that. I can only turn it back to, um, which one was it? Broadcast, which was canvas size 720, which is still a 16 by 9 ratio because the first one I did it, which was a 4x3, and it didn't work very well. So you're trying to, to measure your slides and your videos out to what YouTube expects which is pretty much 16 by 9 and then the other one which we can go down here is if I click this broadcast settings I'm going to do that in a different tutorial uh, but that's how you connect it to YouTube start stop and what's this one external display no idea what that is and this is quite nice because you can configure this to go to Google plus hangouts and just use it as a screen share type tool what I've done but you might have issues with audio there uh, you know, in other words, getting the audio into the Hangout, but but really you say that if I wanted to use it in Hangouts as a screen share or something, once again, it's defaulted to 4x3, and you might want to turn it up to something like 720p, uh, and it's quite nice. So in other words, rather than inputting this video directly to YouTube, say, live events, you are screen sharing this inside the Hangout, which is quite interesting because if you're doing a, a single or a solo Hangout on air, then you may always so wish to use Wirecast here. You can, you can use a bunch of other stuff, um, but it's it's the options we've got in the bag, isn't it? So I think I will say, yeah, let's hit go, Oop, and there we are. So I'm getting feedback through my own headphones at the moment, so I will say have fun, get hold of me, and uh, I'll make some more as I make sure that we learn together. <laughs>